Hey guys, the Jordan here and welcome to another skateboard product review. In today's review, I'm going to be reviewing the I'm going to be reviewing the blind skateboard decks. Now, in my past years of skating, I've gone through three blind boards. Uh, one of them I've only skated a few times, mostly because it was given to me by pro skateboarder Ronnie Krager. So I just hang it up on my wall just as a memento that I got this from a pro skater. I mostly skated through these two blind boards and they're both super savers. So this review will mostly be on blind skateboards and just their average 7 ply wood decks. Alright, so the price of blind boards usually run from $30, which is a really great price, all the way up to $60 for their pro model boards. The $30 boards are normally just a 7 ply average deck, like this one right here, nothing too fancy. And then the medium price ones are like this one, this is a resin 8, so it's got 8 plies and resin glue. And then the most expensive one are the Eternal Life, which has a layer of carbon fiber. So it's a high tech board, so they cost a bit more. Now, blind boards come in various sizes. You can get cruisers, they have like this beer cruiser and a guitar cruiser, I believe. They also have uh, mini completes for the beginners. Then they got normal full size boards. This is 775, and then this one's an 8. And just, they just have normal sizes like what every other company has. The shape of these boards, I find that blind boards are usually a bit more mellow. So on the kicks and the tails, they are low to medium. And then the concave, it's, it's not a flat concave, but it's definitely a pretty mellow to medium concave. Like you can definitely feel it on your feet when you're riding your board. It's just that it's not too intense and it's not too flat. So it's just right in between. Now the shape of these boards, just for the regular boards, is pretty standard. The nose and tail are nicely rounded off. It's not like super coned or too squared off or anything. It's just like, it's just really nicely rounded and symmetrical. The nose is a bit steeper and a bit bigger than the tail, just like normal Irish skateboard decks. For the normal 7 ply boards, uh, just normal 7 plies, normal wood glue. The weight, I would feel, is a bit average. I have not gotten any blind boards that are warped in any way or anything. And they do make the 8 plies. And I feel like the 8, pl the eight ply decks are pretty much the same weight as the 7 ply decks. So that's really nice because you get an extra ply of wood and makes the deck a bit stronger. Also with the resin boards, they use resin glue which is a much stronger bonding glue. And that just makes the board keep its shape better and makes the deck stronger. Now, all blind boards and dwindle boards in general, so dwindle including almost enjoy blind, uh, I don't know if I'm missing any, but those are the main companies I can think of off my head, almost enjoy blind. They all use single press mode. So what that means is that some companies would put like 50 layers of veneer into the mold and then they just clamp it down and you get a bunch of different shapes. With dwindle and blind skateboards, they like to they have single press modes so they put the seven plies of wood or eight plies and they put it in the mold and then the mold clamps down in the, on each individual deck so then you get a more precise and accurate shape on every single deck and it's nice and consistent. Uh, graphics of blind boards are just the standard screen print. Uh, no, no complaints about this graphic. Um, it does chip off and smudge like this just like every other board it slides good and it lasts for a decent amount of time I would say as long as you don't skate like rocks or anything like if you go to a skate park the graphic will last you pretty much forever and it will smudge pretty nicely the plies on blind boards are usually kind of colorful you won't get a deck with just all seven plies blank color wood you would normally get like a dyed ply at least or this one has a bunch of different colors in it, which is really nice. Now, what you guys are probably wanting to know the most is the performance of these guys. Uh, blind boards, just, I would say, perform just as good and no different like any other 7-ply standard deck. Both decks are made the same. 
uh, except for the different features like the single press and the resin like I said before. A lot of people say China boards made in China like window boards are made in China I will say that. Uh, they say that they're not as good or they, you won't get that real pop but the performance of these decks like I'm not a hardcore skater in any way but I find that the performance of these decks are just as good as any other deck that's just a standard maple 7 ply deck. Uh, the pop is good. The pop lasts for a pretty long time. I don't feel any difference with between the crispness or anything between like a China made board and like a Canadian made board. The pop feels the same to me and the pop feels to last just as long. Uh, these decks don't raise their tail that badly or quickly like this board's not even chipped I just took it off because I wanted to put it on a different board but like the razor tail isn't too bad I can still keep skating the deck and those are my notes this one has a razor tail that bad either the only thing I don't like about these decks are that the edges will chip or be laminate a bit if you go really harsh on them like if you go down the stair set and you nose bonk on the tail just like any other board, your board's going to start to chip if you keep doing that. So, after trying to do like, after trying to skate some stairs and stuff, my board did chip, this one. Um, it's not too bad, but it's enough where you can feel the difference. So one thing I don't, I would say about these decks is that it does chip a little bit, but just like, that just happens like any other deck, it's wood it's going to chip if you smash it on concrete. Besides that, there's no really downside with blind boards. They got a really great price range, they got a lot of selection, lots of color. Uh, the performance is average, it's just nothing too special and there's nothing bad about it. The decks are nice and consistent and they even have like a warranty if you break your decks in some kind of way or if it's warped. So you could definitely go look into that. Uh, if you want more info, you can go check out the website blindskateboards.com and you'll be able to see the products, the team. They have a great team. Their video dam came out not too long ago, so you can check that out. And yeah, blind boards. I like the company itself. Hence my last today, blind skater board. Uh, yeah, just overall great boards. If you want to try one out, go pick one up. That's all I can really say. Go check out Blind Skateboards and see you guys next time. And if you have any other skateboard product reviews you want me to do, comment below and I'll try to do them for you guys. Subscribe for more skateboard reviews, like this video, and peace!